any animal that you're challenging, putting yourself one-on-one -on -one against the quarry, against the animal, to me is, is the ultimate in hunting. Turkey hunting, you're trying to fool that turkey, think you're a hen, and when he gets up there where you ought to see a hen, you want your decoy to look like a hen, not like a buzzard or something other than that. The challenge is trying to fool the, the quarry. That's, that's the charge I get out of being in the outdoors, being, in, being hunting, hunting and being in the outdoors. That's the charge I get out of it. You're always learning something when you're turkey hunting. People tell you you can't call them across a creek. They won't fly a fence. They won't cross a road. They won't come downhill. They won't come uphill. But <laughs> if you turkey hunt long enough, the turkeys will come uphill, they will go downhill, they will fly across the fence, they will cross the road. So you may think you know it all, but the turkeys are going to teach you something different every time you go. Blood Brothers, an ancestral bond between like-minded individuals that share one passion. Sports. Blood Brothers TV. Share your passion. With the turkey hunting thing, there wasn't much. Uh, there wasn't much written, there wasn't many tapes that you could get, and I've always said with, with the turkeys, I grew up and the turkeys taught me how to turkey hunt, and they still are to this day. And just when I think I've mastered it and I can pretty much tell you what's going on with the turkeys and what they're going to do, they'll do something totally different. And, but that's one of the things that keeps it uh, probably at the top of my list of something that I still enjoy doing. So in this situation, being able to, to pack it all up and move pretty quick was really the key. Um, and the turkeys taught me that a lot of times you're not going to kill them where you think you are. Uh, I would have never dreamed that those turkeys at that time of day were going to go where they did, but I'll have to mark that one down in my book as a lesson learned. So we had to pick up and, and game plan B. Uh, move to a different spot where we couldn't see a whole lot. We could hear them gobbling. We knew they were coming that direction. And bam, there they were right in the decoys.
they're always going to throw a monkey wrench in your cogs. They're, you think you know where they're roosted, where they're going to fly down, where they're going to travel during the day, but they don't always do that. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Blood Brothers, to me, means folks all across the country sharing the same love for the same thing. It's the tie that binds. It's the, the thing we all have in common. Thus, the definition Blood Brothers. We may not know each other. We may not have ever talked, but because of our love for what we do in the outdoors, we're all blood brothers, we're all kin. Anybody that you see, anywhere you happen to travel, if he's got camouflage on, if he's got a sticker on his truck or whatever, if you're in a parking lot somewhere and you got a flat tire, that would be the first person you'd go to. He'd be the guy that you could count on helping you out. You would have that common bond, even though you never knew the guy. We all look for that enjoyment that we find in the outdoors, our time off, you know, whether you take vacation time to go hunting or whether it's what you do for a living or whatever it is, it's the same same for all of us. It's the desire, it's the enjoyment we, we get out of that. It's all of it. Our love for the outdoors, hunting and fishing and sitting in a tree stand and watching the sunrise or a duck blind or watching the mist come off the water when you're out on the lake getting ready to make your first cast, all that stuff. We all have that same makeup, that same wiring in our chip. So at the end of the day, we're all blood brothers. And guys, that's what we're gonna show you here on Blood Brother TV, we're all blood brothers. Whether you're hunting the most expensive lease in Arkansas during duck season, your granddaddy's farm in Iowa, or public ground right here in Tennessee, it's the tie that binds us together that makes us all blood brothers is the reason we're out there and the reason we love it. I'm a blood brother. Are you? Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. I don't know where I'd be today without the outdoors. Some guys, you know, they like to chase a little white ball around in the field. I've done that too. Um, other people want to spend the whole weekend inside watching football. I enjoy that too. But there's something about watching a sunrise from a perch in a tree, from a duck blind, whatever. You can't put your finger on it. It's maybe deeply embedded still in some of our computer chips in our brain. Uh, it was the way it used to be. Now people live in a box. You know, they don't do, um, they don't go outside that box to do anything. But there's something out there in the outdoors that gives me enjoyment that I haven't been able to find anywhere else. You know, the outdoors, maybe our creator put something in our makeup, not maybe, he did. Um, we've kind of moved away from that in, in modern day society. But you don't, you don't have to win or lose in the outdoors. It's the time, it's man afield. It's, it's mind clearing, it's, it's uh, spirit lifting. You win or lose a football game, you win or lose a baseball game. In the outdoors, you win every time you're in the outdoors. Man, he's gonna come quick.
We're gonna do it right here. And if it wasn't for that, you know, go to modern day terms, if it wasn't for that plug in, I would not be fulfilled completely. It's, it's the time that I spend in the outdoors completes the circle for me. And I believe if more people give up something, maybe, and gain something, Definitely spend some time out there, clear your brain, clear your soul, and, and you'll see what we're talking about. Do you think you need to move? Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Are you geared up for this upcoming turkey season? Serious turkey hunters will now find all their bases covered at their local sporting goods retailer. Cherokee Sports Featherlight Fusion Series decoys are designed to be the most realistic and mobile decoy produced today. Super lightweight and compact photo printed bodies with heads molded from real freeze dried turkeys. It just doesn't get any more realistic. From the full strut Billy Bad Act to the feeding wobblehead hen with multiple models in between, turkey hunters will find a decoy for every need. By far the most mobile and realistic decoys on the market, these decoys will fit in the side pocket of most turkey vests, enabling you to carry a whole flock easily. If you're serious about being successful this turkey season, you'll want the very best decoy available. Cherokee Sports Fusion Series Turkey Decoys have got you covered. Available at Gander Mountain, The Sportsman's Guide, and fine sporting goods retailers. Get yours today. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. On his own, as we're setting up, 300, 350 yards away from us, but just around the hill. Um, the, the lip of the hill was the only reason we had any cover to get set up. So we set one decoy up, jumped back in this treetop. I called three or four times real lightly, and it wasn't but a few minutes and we could see his head coming up the hill. And this brings into mind the flash in the pan hunts used to have as a, as a young fellow when we'd run and gun. We didn't have time but to set out but one decoy, had to do it quick. We were already exposed out in the field. We jumped back into a treetop and the whole time he was gobbling on his own. And when we could see his head, 
is about the time he noticed the decoy and you could immediately see the colors in his head change and that fan come up. And he strutted right up there for several minutes. You tell me when. I can't tell looking through this stuff. How far is that? There was virtually no information on turkey hunting back then because there weren't many turkeys. Uh, I think there was one cassette tape that I can remember purchasing when I was young uh, by Ben Rogers Lee. But besides that, there wasn't anything. Today, you know, guys have got a volume of information from 24 hours a day, seven days a week TV shows to videos, to seminars, to magazine articles. Uh, a friend of mine and myself, Les Enoch, cut our teeth turkey hunting. Uh, we spent hours and hours and hours chasing turkeys, hunting turkeys, doing all kinds of things wrong and very little right. And it was the turkeys that taught us how to turkey hunt. Now can we go to McDonald's? There's a lot of people out there that are trying to fill maybe some void and they can't really figure out what it is. Um, they buy new this, they buy new that, they, they're trying to fill it in a way and they don't know why they don't feel complete spend some time outdoors and see if that doesn't complete you. You don't necessarily have to kill something every time you go. I know that's a cliche in the hunting industry that, you know, it's all about the kill. It's all about harvesting something, but it's really not. I promise you it's not. If you spend a time, a, a, a sunrise in a, in a deer stand, a sunrise in a duck blind, if you hear an owl hoot and a turkey gobble back at that owl, it's that circle of life, that predator and prey, that uh, the place where modern day man has forgotten exists, it's still out there. spending time with my dad in the outdoors through my teenage years with with buddies that went to school with played football with outdoor the outdoors and 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 being outside and hunting and fishing has always been a part of my life an important part of my life blood brothers tv will be right back on everything. Tell me you weren't fooled by my perfectly photo printed body and molded head with my fine realistic hair. I'm as real as it gets baby. Tell me I didn't slip in on you and set you up completely undetectable because of my extremely mobile abilities and quick setup. Tell me I wasn't irresistible the moment you saw me, tell me how unfair it is for me to hold your attention so well that you didn't notice that one important thing in your surroundings. Tell me I'm the only one that's on your mind. There's never been another like me. Nope. You ain't gotta say anything at all, cause you're close enough I can smell it on your breath. Boom. The new age of turkey decoy realism is here. The new Cherokee Sports Harry Heads. Available at Walmart. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV.
personal experience, my own life, my own family, I truly believe, yes, I could have picked a different lifestyle, an avenue that would have made our family more money, but spiritually, emotionally, my children understanding how things work in reality. You know, some people don't, don't get that. Um, I think we're in a better place. like took Nathan to do the hunter safety course two weeks ago. And a lot of those kids, the only time that they'd ever seen a gun was at a, on television, you know, and it was a bad connotation. It wasn't a good connotation. And, you know, the video games and the things that they do now where you shoot somebody and then it's, you restart the game. My kids know that when you pull that trigger, it's final. Um, if they shoot that deer, he's not gonna get back up. They can't breathe life back into him. They can't start the game over. And you, and you can't get that anywhere other than from the outdoors. When you're hunting something, you realize very quickly that the decisions you make are final and that translates into how you drive an automobile when you're 16, 17 years old. Um, I think you develop a higher understanding of responsibility, um, consequences by spending time hunting and in the outdoors. I mean, when you grow up, you know, hunting, you realize that the decisions that you make and maybe that's it you know you grow up fast in the right way because you realize at an early age that the decisions that you make can be fatal can be all ending decisions and therefore you possibly have a higher moral character and understanding of responsibility than those who don't participate in the outdoors and I believe that if there were more people that spent time in the outdoors and, and gained that understanding, um, either at an early age, which would be better, or, you know, at any time, you, you gain that sense of responsibility to the land, uh, how final your decision can be. And if more people participated, I believe we'd have a, a better society. Lord set it up that way. You know, predator and prey, us at the top of the food chain, we're supposed to be hunter-gatherers. Um, and part of the reason that that is set up that way, I think if you experience it, if you do it, you'll understand that there's a circle of life and there's responsibility to your actions and decisions can be final. But if you don't participate in the outdoors and you don't do those things, and you buy your meat at a grocery store or, you know, eat at a restaurant, the part about how <clears throat> that product arrived on the table for your consumption is totally lost. And in our society, it's lost more and more today because people don't participate, they don't hunt, they don't fish. They're not hunter-gatherers anymore, so they're missing that understanding of the circle of life. And as a blood brother myself, I've tried to take those things that I've learned from a small age in the outdoors, responsibility, finality, the decisions that I make have consequences and apply those to my, to my life as an adult. Goodness gracious. It's just been a while since I've killed one with a beard like that. Wasn't that beautiful? Side stepping in the shade right next to Submissive Sally there. What a show, what a turkey.
Blood Brothers TV rocks. Become a Blood Brother by going to www.bloodbrotherstv.com. Brought to you by Cherokee Sports. You've been watching Blood Brothers TV.